hello everyone welcome to the channel i am very excited to share with you this very nifty project called as local file organizer the interesting bit is that this project which is open source and free has been created by a student who just wanted to arrange files on his or her local system so this tool allows you to organize and arrange your multimedia files such as text or images and there are a few other supported formats too which I will tell you shortly on your local disk system with the help of all private and local LLMs. So you can uh, organize your PNG files, your JPG, JPEG, GIF, BMP files and images. For text oriented file you could go with TXT and DOCX and you can also arrange PDF files. So what this tool does is this is an intelligent file organizer which really uh, harnesses the power of your LLMs all private it uses language models plus vision language models to automate the process of organizing the files so what it does is it scans a specified input directory for files and don't give it root directory by the way and then from there it does a texture analysis of the files using Gemma to 2 billion parameter model from Google and it does a visual content analysis using the Lava model and it also understands the content of your files whether they are text images or whatever to generate relevant descriptions folder names and file names and then it organizes the files into a new directory structure based on the generated metadata everything remains on your local system because it uses nexa sdk uh, if you don't know what nexa is i already have done a video on nexa it is sort of an Olama alternative which allows you to run large language models locally you can search my channel with Nexa and you should be able to find a couple of videos as how to install Nexa and how to use it also you can use this tool the local file organizer completely offline because you don't need any AI API or anything like that everything is private local and secure so let's get started before I show you the installation let me um, say a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So, let me take you to my Ubuntu terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04, and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let me git clone the repo of this local file organizer. It's quite lightweight. That is done. Now, once it is done, let me cd into this. Let's clear the screen. Next up, let's create a Conda virtual environment that is recommended. Also, not only you can use these commands on Linux as I am using on Ubuntu, you can use do the same thing on Windows and also on the Mac OS. So let's wait for this Conda environment to get created. Shouldn't take too long. Also, make sure that you are using Python 3.12 as I just did. And then once this Conda environment is created, let's activate it. And you can see that now it is activated so let me clear the screen here next up we need to install nexa and as i have gpu from nvidia so i'm using cuda so i would need to run these commands in order to install the nexa let me run it and you can find this from their github repo this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish installing nexa and nexa sdk is installed let's clear the screen next up from the root of this repo let's install all the requirements sometimes these requirements fail if they do just simply uh, open this requirement.txt file and run it without any version but you see that in this case it's been successful so that is all good and nice let's clear the screen now what i have done is i have just created a new directory on my local system i have inserted an image a pdf file and a text file and they just contain some random information and this is a multi-modal stuff which i'm going to use with this local file organizer i will input this directory and then we will go from there 
now in order to run it all you need to do is to run like this python main.py and this is going to start the local file organizer so once you run it it is going to ask you what directory you want to organize make sure you don't give it the root directory i hope that he will the creator will introduce some sort of dry run anyway so this is the directory i want so this is the whole path of that directory and now it is asking you to you know give the output directory where it, you want the result uh, organized files and folder if you want, don't want to specify any just press enter and it is going to create a new folder organize underscore folder in the input directory so up to you maybe i'll just give it another path which is declutter and now it is progressing it so let's wait for it to finish it is telling us that directory tree before renaming and first time it is going to take some time because it downloads the models both lava and the gemma too as you can see it is doing something so I just have to wait for it to finish and there you go so you see the first thing which i gave it was the image of a cathedral it is telling you that what exactly that image is and then it has gone through my pdf file amazing stuff and then it has done my text file which was just one liner so now it has saved it in this home ubuntu declutter it is cathedral and it has renamed it to viana gothic cathedral.png then the second one is the directory communication the file name is hello there subscribe.txt and technology is untitled.pdf because there's not much in there to be honest so if i maybe i'll just take you from the uh, gui so if you just go up here the folder name we gave it was declutter so if i open declutter so it has organized it into cathedrals this is my cathedral and you see uh the original file was just cathedral right but it has just given it like viana gothic cathedral very nice and then for communication it has gone with my own python file subscribe here this was just my txt file it just says hello there this is an ai youtuber and subscribe to youtube channel so that is why it has uh, named it like this and then for technology so this is interesting because this also contains my own information this one i would say that it is not that good because it contains more information about me uh, it's just a personal information but it has just was unable to do it but it has named the folder as technology which is quite correct so this is i would say quite good and very early days but still a very cool project as is um, the good thing is that it hasn't really if i sorry if i take you back it hasn't really done anything with the original folder which is quite good so it will be interesting to see if i just give it some like root folder and then run it with the root user what it is going to do how it is going to uh, arrange it so i think there should be a dry run there should be some guardrails because in linux there are no warnings so um i think that pretty good really good tool i mean i really like it but as i said just have to be careful while you're running especially in linux because if you're running in windows windows ask you a few times if you want to do it if you want to do it and then there are a few card rails where it won't allow you to tinker with system files that much but in linux if you run it with the root user it won't complain it won't uh, refuse rather it might tell you uh, additional ways to mess up the system but anyway so other than that really impressed by this new project hats off i will drop the link to this repo in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching